Yeah, what up, my thuns? DJ Hot Wheels here, and I ain't gonna say welcome back. I'm gonna say welcome me back, cause I, I know I wasn't on here from the second half of April because I got in some trouble at college and here at home. I ain't gonna say what because what I learned because from when I was in trouble and grounded, my my grandparents, mom and pop, told me they don't like me putting their business out there. So all I'm gonna say is, the trouble at school was family issues. I was on Facebook talking to my nanny, and then my cousin, and then she was saying all this type of stuff about pop, and then, and then my cousin Nikki called pop late that night, telling him that I said all those hateful things about him, saying I hate him and whatnot, and it wasn't me, and he got so mad that. As well as the trouble in college, so I couldn't get on computer or do nothing. But I say one thing. I'm glad he grounded me because while I was grounded, I ended up watching a movie that I never would have seen if I wasn't grounded. And it was Avatar. I never would have watched it if I wasn't grounded because then I would have been on my game and I wouldn't have been checking TV the whole time. But anyway, I'm back. And I cut my beard down a bit because, th because of the trouble that college I had to cut this down I mean it wasn't nothing first hand but it was something just I learned cutting this down is because I ain't racist and I ain't trying to use the race car for nothing but some people out here some people out here think that a black guy with a thick long chin strap or whatever is a gang member or a thug and I ain't want people get put me in that category so I cut it down when I'm out of college I'm gonna Grow it back. Anyway, this video is just for saying I'm back. I'm gonna make another one because something might like, something I had in my mind. If y'all have if any of y'all ever watched Little Women New York, well, if you haven't, it's a show about these midgets who are learning to cope with like with are learning to cope with their condition. And like to be to like get over the get over stop being negative and start thinking confident start being confident about themselves and how they deal with some people that ain't phased by them being short and and the ones that do do see them as a burden so they were learning to deal with that and then recently on one of them episodes there were these two the, the three midgets whose names I remember are Jason Misty and Jordana anyway Jason. Misty and Jordana, shout out to Misty, shout out to y'all, how y'all doing? But, uh, Misty and Jordana both got in the same kind of show, because they both want to be models, and they walking down the walkway and showing off their outfits and whatnot, their dresses. This is about, Misty and Jordana are in the same freaking show, and, Jer and Misty is an immature little, Misty is a, M Misty is a little immature woman. She's a, she's a B, she's a B, she's a B.I., so you know, if you know what I mean, so, and she, as soon as she found out Jordana was in the same show, she let her personal feelings get in the way, and now she's jealous of her, saying that she's trying to steal her shine, and she wants to be number one in her, she wants the spotlight, she wants to be in the spotlight for once in her life, but what she don't get is, when you're in the entertainment world, it, it ain't about your personal feelings no more. It ain't about best friends. There's nothing. In the entertainment business, you gotta be professional. That's otherwise, who would want you? And this is not just for being a model. This is for anything in the entertainment business. Music, acting, or this, whatever. Ain't no person, ain't no boss or whoever, or CEO. Ain't nobody gonna want you in their show or anything, or any kind of thing, if you image, if you immature, if you immature and selfish and Misty I seen that episode where and in one of the episodes Misty was about to be wearing they fitted Misty to be wearing a, a dress a dress made out of dollar out of a hundred dollar bills and they fitted her for it and then they said to her that they they still they and then they ended up saying to her that they're gonna try and fit it, they're gonna see if Jordana fits it, and she got upset about that, and then, when Jordana tried it on, that's when the bosses went to Miriam, 
the, the one in charge went up to Jordana and said she decided that she wants Jordana to wear it and then when Misty and Jason found out they took it as Jordana stealing the dress from Misty and it wasn't Misty's decision it wasn't it wasn't Jordana's fault it wasn't her choice the one in the woman in charge the woman in charge said she made the decision to let Jordana wear the freaking money dress Misty and Jason y'all need to grow the freak up man I can't stand y'all I ain't got no respect for y'all right now and you see how angry I am you see how angry I look and how I sound well now you see why because I'm sick of people like that I deal with people like that all the time and now I'm watching on TV and it just pisses me off even more Misty and jo Jason y'all need to grow the heck up and when Jason Jason you a snake too because look just because Jordan all because Jordana embarrassed you and humiliated you on that dumb ski trip of yours you gonna try and you gonna go behind her back and try to play her like a little fool and I saw the preview in the next episode where she said she should put her foot up your butt and I, and I think she should and you think you're better than her saying that she on a level lower than you you ain't nobody neither you ain't no man you little punk just like Misty you following behind her like a little punk that's not what a man would do only a little sucker would do that so overall Misty, Jason screw both of y'all and Dawn I was mad at you first because of the way you are but now you starting to go on me because even you didn't do this you said some messed up stuff but you never went behind you down his back and set her up just like that Jason, you a rat. You just like 50 cent. You just like 50 cent, you little rat. You ain't go to the police, but you went to miss me. Jordana told you that because she trusted you. And she said nobody was supposed to find that out. And she asked you nicely not to tell Misty. And you did it anyway because you felt like Jordana would do something like that. You know what? Get a freaking life, Misty and Jason. And you're down I feel I'm so sorry that you had to go, that you gotta go through that. Your own friend turned your back on you. I understand how that is, cause as soon as I got put in this wheelchair, people, I started losing all my friends, and I was being negative too, feeling like why nobody wanna be fool me? I'm in the wheelchair, but now I'm starting to get confident, just like how you are. Well, Jordana, I hope it all goes well for you. And hopefully that, even though, and I, I don't really know, but I've heard rumors that some of the things they do on reality shows are also staged, but then some of them are actually real. So if that stuff was real, I hope you, I hope you be able to, I hope you be able to get through that all right. Hopefully that those two decide to grow up and think and just think to themselves, how can I think that these, how can I think that these, how can I think that my best friend Jordana would do something like steal my part and steal my dress or my shine hopefully one day when they go they realize that but Misty J Jason both of y'all are hoes so keep following Misty around like a puppy dog Jason cause I don't care about you I don't care about Misty I don't care about none of you people out here that are like Jason or Misty Screw y'all and get a life. Alright y'all, DJ Hot Wheels here. D-Blocks the click. Peace out.